and they were saying, you guys got to get out of here, it's a bomb. Many thanks, Lindsey Grimm, who saw this occurring, at least the first, uh, hesitate to call it an attack. The first incident, we'll continue to call it for now, and very much the second one now. That's what it looks like. Both of the towers in the Twin Trade Towers are now on fire. We have no idea whatsoever uh, the, the measure of casualties inside or the measure of damage inside, though you can only imagine it. The New York City of Office of Emergency Management said to us a short while ago they do not know what happened yet. I um, want to check in very quickly with the President of the United States, John Cochran, who is the President in Florida. John? Peter, as you know, the President's down in Florida talking about education. He got up out of his uh, hotel suite this morning, was about to leave. Reporters saw the White House Chief of Staff, Andy Card, whisper into his ear. Then reporters said to the President, do you know what's going on in New York? He said he did and said he will have something to say about it later. His first event is about a half an hour at a, an elementary school in Sarasota, Florida. Thanks, John. John Cochran with the President. President's in Florida today pushing his education reform. It will get wiped off of the agenda today in view of this extraordinarily serious accident. For those of you who don't know the Twin Trade Towers, and it's a popular destination for tourists when they come to New York City, it has financial offices in it, it has government offices, <clears throat> it has lots of access on the top. Um, above where this accident actually, where this incident actually occurred, where tourists come. Um, it's one of the great views in New York City, and people 